Greetings everyone, I'm Anthony Bietti. I am Executive Director of Friends of Riverside Drive and we are here in Shelby Park and believe it or not, Shelby Park and Riverside Drive have a birth date together. In the early 1900s, the city was trying to acquire this property, which at that time was an amusement park. And so at that same time, the county commissioner was negotiating and planning to build Riverside Memorial Boulevard. And the two came together and thanks to Dr. Rufus Fort, we have the underpass going under to Riverside Drive and the city was able to purchase 151 acres of then Shelby Amusement Park to become Shelby Park. And so we owe it to the founders and the old families that lived in this area that gave, or at least negotiated the land so that the railroad could build its line and we could have this beautiful park that everyone in East Nashville, Rosebank, Eaglewood, Cher, and uh, South Eaglewood to take and participate in. Uh, the, the park itself, as I mentioned, is 151 acres. We are here in a grove of cherry trees, and this is kind of like the greeting people that are going to Riverside Drive to see the cherry tree. So it's uh, the beginning of the cherry path up Riverside Drive into the National, uh, National Cemetery. In the early days, they were trying to create a road that would take people from Nashville to the National Cemetery, which is located north on Gallatin Pike. And this is the path that they chose. People would come up Davidson Road, then into the park, and then drive up Riverside to Gallatin Pike and then to the, Nashville, uh, the National Cemetery. And at one time, Riverside Drive was known as the Nashville uh, or National Cemetery Road. So it's kind of interesting, it had the National Cemetery Road and Riverside Drive at the same time. And then people felt that we should have a Riverside Drive because we do have the river right behind us. And so, so we get the name Riverside Drive. The, this area during the tornado uh, march ripped out, I don't know how many hundreds of trees in Shelby Park. And so the National Tree Foundation, the Nashville Tree Conservation Corps, and other tree organizations are in the process of planting trees again on Shelby Park. And also there is a section on Riverside where the tornado took out some of the older trees that were there, the magnolias and some of the dogwoods. And so we will replant with cherry trees on that section of the median. And continuing with the early uh, contributors to Riverside Drive, on the Shelby Park end of Riverside, we have planted irises, daffodils, and red poppies. And as you know, red poppies is the emblem for the First World War. So that was the significance of planting poppies on Riverside, was because of the First World War. And the irises, during the 1930s, the entire median on Riverside Drive was planted with irises. And Mrs. Rufus Ford designed the beds in the media and so Friends of Riverside Drive is continuing the work that was started 
by Mrs. Rufus Ford during the 1930s. And uh, we'll continue to plant irises and poppies in remembrance of our service members that uh, did not return from the war. The other thing that you have to remember when you're planting trees, any tree, of course cherry trees, it does take maintenance for the first three years. Uh, essential is that you plant the, the tree correctly and you water. And especially during drought periods in Nashville, uh, it becomes critical that there is a watering plan in place so that these trees will thrive. And so that's an ongoing thing, at least for the first few years of planting. Tell us how you watered the trees on Riverside Drive. And it's really interesting, of course, on Riverside Drive, you don't have, uh, you can go to a house, if you will, and ask, oh, can we use your water? And so what we did have on Riverside is a system of fire hydrants. And in 1912, uh, 2012, we had a cherry blossom festival at Riverside Village and the proceeds from that cherry blossom festival, we were able to water the trees for the, the first 10 years of planting and we used a fire hydrant meter that we attached to the fire hydrant and Metro Water Services put two spigots at the end of this meter so I could run hoses up and down Riverside to uh, water the trees. And it took a while, you know, <laughs> when you have a, a water hose that's uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter and you're trying to water all of these trees, it's, uh, it's an undertaking. And the bench that I am sitting on is in remembrance of Tracy Lynn Hamilton, who was my partner in the first Cherry Blossom Festival we had in Eaglewood. She was a very dynamic person, a very young, vibrant, and unfortunately uh, died from cancer and this bench is in her memory and without her help in the early days I don't think it would have been possible to plant as many trees as we have and so I'm very fortunate to have had partners with the same passion and drive that I have to turning Riverside Drive and continuing the work that others started way before me. Thank you.